In today's Target and Focus, we'll be taking a look at Euro Pound, Euro Dollar and Dollar Yen. Joining me to discuss these currency pairs is Geoffrey Yu, Senior FX Strategist at UBS in London. Hello Geoffrey. Considering the current high volatility within the European financial crisis and with new Spain is asking for a full state bailout, what are your short, mid and long term predictions for the Euro Pound and Euro Dollar? Uh, well, right now we're looking for euro sterling to remain steady at uh, 77 uh, in one month and three months, and our euro dollar forecasts are at 120 in one month and three months as well. So, given the amount of volatility, uh, indeed, we don't want to have too strong a directional view at this stage. Um, hence, we're keeping flat forecasts, um, but with a view on the negative euro, especially in the longer term. We uh, don't take too strong a view on uh, what Spain's exact position is right now, but our one-year forecast in euro dollar is 115 right now. So. Uh, yes, structurally, we do expect the euro to decline further. Indeed, uh, that is uh, one of uh, the fundamental solutions for the eurozone crisis at this stage. For the dollar itself, it really depends on uh, how the Fed sees things. Uh, I think um, the dollar will uh, maybe assume some momentum uh, individually uh, if uh, we do have a significant change in FOMC expectations or, or otherwise. Uh, but structurally, again, you know, even if the Fed does pursue um, more aggressive action uh, than uh, what is currently priced in, we still think that the euro will need to decline versus the dollar. So that's why we still have a 115 view towards the end of this year and 110 towards the end of next year, if not lower. What long-term damage, Jeffrey, do you think the euro crisis will have on the euro dollar and the market as a whole? Well, at this stage, I think a lot of sovereign risk and a lot of redenomination risk has already been priced in. So uh, there's uh, not much new information which could be factored. I mean, uh, we don't think that uh, the euro will break up at all. Not even Greece will exit the eurozone. Um, so uh, when we move beyond credit risk and sovereign risk, um, it's just a matter of growth differentials. Uh, that's probably where we can see a lot more damage have been done. But of course, it also depends on how the ECB responds. Right now, we don't think the Fed uh, will take any action at all. We still think that there is enough um, slack in the economy uh, for them to uh, simply maintain its current course of action, i.e. extend operation twist until the end of the year. If, however, there is further deterioration um, over the next uh, quarter or so, then it's possible uh, that they will signal more QE, uh, maybe at the September meeting where Bernanke uh, will have a better um, chance to explain himself. Uh, but at this stage, we don't think that they'll do any more beyond what they have already done. It's been uh, a sharp move uh, from around 114 euro dollar down to 115. So, uh, but that's just on the back of um, sovereign risk. Uh, we'll have to see how growth um, continues to decline in the eurozone if uh, that justifies further ECB action, further downside in the euro. What are your short, mid, and long-term predictions for the dollar yen? Dollar yen 78 uh, in the short term. Longer term, we do expect a steady recovery, maybe back to above um, 80. Uh, but that depends on quite a few things, especially uh, BOJ uh, policy and how the Fed evolves. And which pairing, in your opinion, has the most risk and which has the least? There's probably more upside risk, I guess, to a euro dollar forecast at this stage. Um, if suddenly a structural solution is found within the eurozone, if the ECB is prepared to be more aggressive, and markets will tend to react positively to that. Um, if we do have um, a coordinated response um, by European politicians, uh, then it's possible that euro dollar will stabilize around here. And if also growth surprises to the upside, while well, U.S. growth um, starts to come down, forcing the Fed to um, take more action, then maybe euro dollar could snap back and uh, stabilize around 120 and move back towards 130 levels. But at this stage, that's not our central view. Probably um, in Euro Swiss, um, you know, we still think that it's going to be stable at uh, 120 10. The floor will hold. I don't think a market uh, should be pricing in any change in policy there. Um, otherwise, Euro Sterling could probably trade in a range of, let's say, between 77 and 80, heading towards year end. That tends to be a less volatile pair. Um, but a lot will depend, on, again, on how uh, risk and growth and the Eurozone situation plays out. Thanks for joining me, Jeffrey. Well, that's all we've got time for right now. Stay tuned to Dukascopy TV for more updates and interviews. For now, though, goodbye.